Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our third example of how to write a function like this into an infinite series or a power series. Now the function is f of x equals x squared divided by x plus 2. How can that be done? Well, again, we're trying to make it look like this. So we're going to factor out an x squared. So this can be written as x squared times 1 over x plus 2. And then we're going to switch the denominator around so that we have the x in the back and the 2 in the front. So this is equal to x squared times 1 over 2 plus x. And of course, again, we don't want a 2 there. We want a 1 there so we can factor out a 1 half. So this is equal to x squared divided by 2 times 1 over 1 plus x over 2. And finally, we want to make this look like that. So this can be written as x squared over 2 times 1 over 1 minus, and minus x over 2 will do the trick. And so now this looks exactly like what we have over here, but instead of an x, we have a minus x over 2, and we factor out the next square divided by 2 to make that happen. So now we can write it as an infinite sum, replacing every x here by a minus x over 2. So this can then be written as x squared divided by 2 times a 1 plus, instead of x, a minus x over 2. So, well, let's go like this, minus x over 2, and that would be plus x squared, that would be a minus x over 2 squared, plus, instead of an x cubed, it would be a minus x over 2 cubed, plus, and so forth. And then if we multiply that out, let's see what we get. This is equal to x squared divided by 2 times, we have 1 minus x over 2 plus x squared over 4 minus x cubed over 8 plus x to the 4th over 16 minus and so forth. And then what we can do is we can multiply this into here. Now maybe what we should do is to write this as 2 to the first, 2 to the second, and so forth. So let's do that first. So this is equal to x squared divided by 2 times 1 minus x over 2 plus x squared over 2 squared minus x cubed over 2 cubed plus x to the fourth over 2 to the fourth minus Okay, and now we can go ahead and multiply this in over here, which means that this is going to give us an x squared divided by 2 to the first power minus x cubed divided by 2 squared plus x to the fourth divided by 2 cubed minus x to the fifth over 2 to the fourth plus x to the sixth over 2 to the fifth minus, and so forth, and here we have our infinite series that now represents this function. So even though we don't have our first and second typical term like a 1 and an x to the first power, it doesn't matter, this truly represents the original function we started with. There's no time right now, it's summation. Nah, I could, but no. You want me to? No. No, okay, all right. Well. For those who are interested in seeing what this may look like with infinite summation notation, this can be written as the infinite sum going from n equals 0 to infinity. Well, we need to take care of the negative signs, so we have a minus 1 to the n power that takes care of the negative signs. Now we need to take care of the x's, so we have an x raised to the n plus 2, so that when n equals 0, x will be to the second power, and then we have to write 1 over 2 raised to the n plus 1 power. Notice that the exponent of the 2 is 1 less than the exponent of the x, so you can also write it as an infinite sum like this.